Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different than most of my videos. Usually I like to have my videos scripted and, well, prepared when filming, but this time I decided let's just relax a little and just see what I'm actually thinking about these films. And, well, I want to start reviewing a trilogy series, which is called the Broly series, I'm going to be calling it. And now why am I doing this? Well, because the new Broly film is going to be coming out as of this recording right now, and I'm excited, so why not we just talk about the old Broly film? So the first Broly film we're going to be talking about is, well, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. And well, before we start talking about the film itself, I want to talk about how I personally feel about the character. So how I feel about Broly is, well, a bit of a mixed bag. There's one side of me that's like, Wow, this concept is amazing! A Saiyan that was born to have this power level of 10,000! That's insane! Hell, it's even cool to see that a new Saiyan has this other ability, unlike normal Saiyans, where they just get gold hair. This Super Saiyan just gets green hair! I know! Creative, right? Huh, where have I seen that before? But the other side of me thinks just stupid fan service and a lot of wasted potential as well as just having just a crappy origin altogether. However, with the new Dragon Ball Super movie coming out and with Broly being the main character, everyone was surprised as well as intrigued at what the Toriyama, aka the writer of Dragon Ball, is going to come up with for Broly. I mean, he only drew the character and never came up with him as well, so this is interesting. I mean, the guy who drew the character never even came up with him as a whole. So this is just interesting to see what he'll come up with for Broly in this new film that's going to be coming out soon. Now, I'm aware that this movie is going to be coming out in January 16th for the English stuff, so this is why I'm not really talking about these films all in one video. I just want to talk about each and every film in their own separate video, as well as not making the video too damn long. All that being said, guys, that's my only review. Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. So Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan is basically your generic Dragon Ball film, as in, oh no, there's a big baddie we gotta stop. Let's power up. Oh no, we can't beat him. What else can we do? Oh wait, look, I just learned this new technique. Or, oh, I just got this new power. And then, boom, the film is over, and then everyone lives happily ever after. And there, you get any Dragon Ball film you can possibly imagine. But what I think makes this film stick for most Dragon Ball fans is the fact that on how Broly speaks to people when he's beating the crap out of them, as well as how easily he was defeating all the Z-Warriors in this film. I mean, it'll just, he isn't even trying. He's just fucking with them the whole time. And I think that's why people really remember this film. As well as him saying some pretty badass lines. So let's talk about the plot of this film. So the film first starts off as well as supposedly the south part of the galaxy blew up. Okay, I guess in this universe there's the south part of this galaxy. Whatever. Anyways, we learn that south galaxy has blown up and that the north galaxy is next. And we see our characters just having a fun time having a picnic while Goku and Chi Chi are trying to enroll their son into some future high school thing that never really affects the plot of the storyline of Dragon Ball. Okay, one thing to keep in mind about these films, most of the Dragon Ball films aren't even connected to the Dragon Ball series as a whole. In fact, from what Akira Toriyama has said himself, I take the movies as stories in a different dimension from the main story of the comic. I'm entirely just an audience member for them. So anyways, King Kai basically has a panic attack and says, Hey Goku, we need you because, you know, you're the main character of this series and you practically defeated every baddie in the show so far. So yeah, we're gonna need your help, Goku. And Goku's like, Oh yeah, great, I get to fight another baddie because I'm just your good old generic anime character just wants to fight people. So after that, we then learn that supposedly the legendary Super Saiyan is going on a huge rampage destroying every planet and that this guy named Paragus who's a surviving Saiyan wants Prince Vegeta or King Vegeta he likes to call him to now take over this so-called planet that they have taken over. So basically all our characters come in to go with Vegeta because well reasons. So while our side characters are just fucking around as well as Vegeta 
Goku is trying to find the legendary Super Saiyan, but is out of luck. Goku then finally meets our side characters, and they all learn that this planet is enslaved by whatever the hell these things are, which really doesn't matter throughout this film. Anyways, Vegeta and Broly are trying to find the legendary Super Saiyan. Wow. On the DVD, we kind of figured it out on who the legendary Super Saiyan is. Eh, whatever. Anyways, while Goku's trying to look for the legendary Super Saiyan, Broly is pissed off at Goku for no reason. We really don't know why, actually. In fact, it never is explained for a little bit. And Goku is just like, wow, your power is really strong. I hope we get to fight at some point. That's pretty much it with that scene. Yeah. Anyways, later that night, Paragus realizes, oh my god, Broly hated Goku because... Goku and him were born on the same day? Wait, what? I guess because Goku was crying as an infant? What the fuck? Anyways, while Paragus is pondering on this whole thing, Broly then just attacks Goku and Goku's like, Whoa, Broly, you're really strong! I hope we get to fight each other some more, but then... Goku figures out, oh my god, Broly's the legendary Super Saiyan, wow, that's, that's amazing. And, but then Paragus stops Broly from rampaging throughout the whole planet, and then, that's pretty much that. Yeah, this film is really fucking boring. So after that semi-interesting moment, Vegeta decides, I had enough of this bullshit and I'm just gonna leave now. But then we learn, oh my god, um, Paragus is gonna blow up Earth because... Pe Comic Gamorrean, they have to stay on the planet, and then Broly is just like, you know what, fuck you all, I, I'm pissed off at Goku because, um, him crying as an infant really just pisses me off still, even though it was just for a couple hours, probably at best. Anyways, after that, we then get a lot of badass action. Now, when we see this fight, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, you have Broly just ramming into people, just shit-talking to everyone. I especially liked this line. Hey! What do you say you give us a handicap? Is that another word for coughing? <laughs> I also love how Vegeta is just scared. This is kind of one of the few moments we see Vegeta scared, and whenever we see Vegeta scared, you can tell that things are actually really bad. Because if Vegeta's scared of something, you should too. And that's why I love this moment, because you just feel on how powerful Broly is as a character, and how he just wipes out every person. I mean, Gohan gets his ass kicked, Goku can barely do anything for shit, Trunks is just there. I mean, Vegeta eventually fights back, but yeah, he fails pretty miserably. However, of course, this, since this is a Dragon Ball film, no other character can stop Broly except for Goku, and how they do this is by lending Goku their energy, and literally, we're hyped up for this huge, badass moment where Goku is just walking to Broly, and then we just get the dumbest scene ever, where literally Goku just punches Broly in the stomach, and then that's basically the end of the film. So... There is very little to talk about when it comes to this plot of the film. Okay, so let's talk about how I feel about the plot. So the plot of this film, it's okay, it's not bad, but it's not good either, it could be better. And well, there's just a lot of boring parts to it, and the only good scenes are when Broly's shit-talking to people, as well as just beating the crap out of everyone, and he's just an unstoppable force. The ending of this film is just so lackluster and there's just a lot of build up to it but when Goku finally defeats Broly it just feels like, really? Is that it? Is that all you really have? Let's talk about his origin for a moment. Th yeah. The best way to describe his origin story is, well... He is a literal giant f***ing baby! Exactly what I was thinking. Broly's origin could have had a lot of potential. Instead of Broly hating Goku because... He cried as an infant or was born on the same day? Why couldn't it be that he hated Vegeta instead? Or, in fact, even better yet, King Vegeta, because think about it. While Broly can't have revenge on the man who stabbed him as a child, he can at least get the next best thing, which is killing the son of the person who stabbed him as an infant. What a missed opportunity that was. 
Well, yeah, there's really nothing much to talk about. There's really no character development, no character growth for these characters. There's nothing for our main characters to really do, especially anyone else. And the jokes in this film just pull up flat, and no one really cares. Like, the only joke that I found funny was this. Broccoli? Just give it up, it's all over! Very tough, but his name's Broly. And that's it. So let's talk about the animation in this film. Now the animation in this film sometimes has its moments of being bad, but overall the animation is pretty decent actually. It's really, it's really colorful, the artwork looks great, it's pretty consistent most of the time, and the colors were really bright and colorful. I just loved every bit of the animation as well as the framework. So how would I rate Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan as a film? Well, I give it a 5 out of 10. I just feel like there could have been more for this film, as well as maybe using those filler moments to develop Broly a bit more, as well as maybe not making Goku the, the person that Broly wants to kill. Why couldn't it instead be, oh I don't know, Vegeta? Or hell, at least do it on Trunks or something. I don't know, anything but Goku. The problem with most of these films is Goku is usually the person that the villain hates. Why can't we for once maybe get something different? Maybe, for example, Vegeta, Piccolo, Tien Shenhan, Krillin, hell, even Yamcha. Just anyone but Goku. Alright, that's really all I had to say, guys. Um, I hope you liked the video, and please like, comment, and subscribe. And Tell me if you like this style of the videos. If you want to just have a scripted version, I'm fine with that. I just wanted to relax a little and just talk about my feelings with um, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan.